Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's more offbeat stories. And we begin with Toronto landing top spot on a rather dubious list. This one will make your skin crawl, Richard, both literally and figuratively. Yeah, bed bugs, Ooh. Erica. Enough to frighten anyone. My nightmare. Uh, Orkin. You, know, you, you don't want to be anywhere near these mm -hmm. things, Erica, right? Oh my God! It's the it's the bed bug B-roll. Watch out! Uh, so Orkin Orkin says over the past year Toronto was home to more bed bugs than any other city in in Canada. Sudbury number two. What's going on, Sudbury? Uh, Oshawa three, Vancouver and Winnipeg rounding out the list. However, Erica Orkin says despite this, bed bug sightings are actually down year on year, which it believes is a result of COVID-19. Everyone's staying at home more, and that means that these little critters can't, you know. Uh, hitchhike a ride to other homes. So even the bed bugs are suffering because of COVID-19, Erica. Oh my goodness. All right, Joe Biden is embroiled in his first controversy as president, but this one's not quite as serious as some of the others we've seen in recent years. It's about bagels. So Joe Biden, he was coming home from church in Washington, D.C. this past Sunday, and he had the motorcade stop at a, a local well-known bagel shop there that makes their own bagels. Here's the problem, though. The U.S. president got his toasted and that sparked a mini controversy i want to show you some tweets about this before i get your take uh erin tweeted and she said hold on toasted bagel that's only acceptable if it's allowed to cool completely so the cream cheese doesn't melt and or if it's a subpar <laughs> bagel. okay okay she's right about that by the way but anyway next tweet was you know the standard for a presidential scandal has reset i found myself outraged that biden ordered a toasted bagel and finally ryan tweets D dc folks arguing about if a bagel should be toasted or not means nature <laughs> what say you, Erica, toasted or not I think toasted? maybe I'm going to make some people upset because I always get my bagel toasted. I didn't know that it wasn't supposed to be. Am I, am I not uh, following proper etiquette? Well, if you're buying a fresh bagel that's, you know, just coming out of the oven, I think you're supposed to treat it like fresh bread and you're not supposed to toast it. If it's something that's been in your house for a day or two, I think you can toast it and revitalize it. Okay. Eric. Well, let us know. I, I think that's fair, but I don't really get fresh bagels that often. They're usually bought at the grocery store. Fair enough. Tweet us and let, you, let us know what you think. Please we, do. Me and Erica need to know what your bagel is. <laughs> Stances. All right, a well known museum in Niagara Falls closed its doors forever last year, and now some pretty unusual items are being auctioned off, Richard. You can buy them. I want your take on these. This is the Guinness World Records Museum. It's been in Niagara Falls since 1978. It's closed. The Funhouse Mirror can be yours. Uh, I don't need to look any funnier than I already do, so maybe I'll pass. <laughs> uh, this is a coin operated electric chair, uh, which uh, the character goes crazy. I guess if you could put, if you just, whoever you're tired of quarantining with, you could put in there. <laughs> uh, world's heaviest man. This is one of those photo op things where you stand behind it and you look like the world's heaviest man. Right. Also, don't need that, quite frankly. This is what I'm buying you. It's a big E from the billboard okay. that said Guinness. Because you're a big star now that. on City News, Erica. You're a big star. You need E for Erica. Right? I like you need this your one. Most lights. of them I was a little worried. Oh, goodness. Okay. There's the coin operated electric chair. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, we've run out of time. Be yours. Unfortunately, yeah, but those are some really good pieces. Only the E I would get, though. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Richard. Have a great night. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.